Hey guys, this is George. I'm going to go with George's Excel calendar for the year 2018. Currently I'm in the month of January 2018. At the bottom of the screen here there are the orange worksheet tabs and there's one for each month of the year for 2018. I'm going to go back to the month of January and I've already added some sample items to the calendar but the calendar will be blank to start with. And to add your own items, you just go to the particular day that you want to add the item to and just type it directly in the cells. You can also shade the cells. If you like, you can change the color scheme. Just select the cells that you want to change the color of and pick a different color. Okay, so that's how you work within the individual months and add items to it. There's also the full year view where you can see the whole year on one worksheet. This particular one is for holidays. So at the bottom here, I've already entered a few sample holidays, but you can enter your own holidays that you celebrate. And you could then shade the corresponding cells. And there's also a full year view for keeping track of birthdays throughout the year. So at the bottom here is where you would enter the different birthdays and you highlight the corresponding cells. And you could print these. So if you want all your birthdays on a single sheet, you can print them like that. And the same thing for holidays, you could print them and have all the holidays in the full year calendar on a single sheet. And you can also print out your individual monthly calendars and have that on a single sheet for a particular month. So that's a basic overview of George's Excel calendar for the year 2018.